Maria Khmutova. I perform the role of Masha in Her Smitty of Odessa and also I'm co-writer of this play with my husband, Matt McKenzie. Yes, hi, I'm Matt McKenzie. I play Matt McKenzie in First Meeting Man of Odessa. <laughs> it's a love story uh, that chronicles the last few years that have been for Masha and I, uh, including uh, uh, us getting married uh, uh, in the middle of a pandemic, uh, us welcoming our son into the world, and then us um, dealing with the, the fallout from the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, including uh, welcoming my mother-in-law <laughs> to live with us in Canada. <laughs> it's a true love story, so we both wrote it and we both perform it on stage. It's always nice to have a personal perspective on global things such as uh, COVID and war that happens in Ukraine right now. So we're all tired of the news, of course, and we're all burned by these events, but still having them yeah, just personal approach to that, seeing how it affects everyone, not in a global meaning, but like an uh, individual one, which makes those events not abstract, but very personal, and it can reach any, any, anyone's heart, I guess. I think that uh, we leave people with, with hope with the show. People who've seen the show across the country have been very energized and want to share their experiences, or whether they're Ukrainian, or whether they're uh, Métis or an indigenous uh, person. And so, uh, so yeah, it's not a doom and gloom story. It's very uh, hopeful and full of uh, laughter and love. Please enjoy this uh, special sneak peek of First Métis Man of Odessa, which shows the first time I met my wife's parents in Odessa. The contract ends. We travel to Odessa. So Matthew could meet my mother and father. I've never seen drivers like the ones in Odessa. It's like every unmarked taxi is a getaway car. We meet with my parents, divorced since I was 12 separately. First we meet Olga, a larger than life language expert over Napoleon cake, which Olga and I discover we share a near spiritual affinity for. I learned that Olga grew up all over the communist world and Cuba, Budapest, and Tambov, Russia, which I've never heard of before. The ancestral home of Rachmaninoff. Who I have heard of before. The fact that Matthew not only knows who Rachmaninoff is, but also that he has massive hands, deeply impresses my mother. Saying goodbye to Olga, we go to meet Masha's father, Eugene, a doctor. Masha informs me that she hasn't introduced a man to her father in 10 years. My father doesn't speak that much English, but still, somehow, Matthew makes him laugh. We drink sweet the table with Eugene in a smuggler's tavern and are serenaded by musicians singing about the exploits of famed Odessa bandits. They also sing about romance. About smugglers stealing lovers from other smugglers. Yep, they have wide repertoire. Saying goodbye to Eugene, we walk along the shores of the Black Sea. My parents love you, Matthew. Your mother says I look like Paul Giamatti, and your father says I'm not an alcoholic. These are huge compliments. 